Hi hey guys, it's Parker here from testpreppchampions.com and I'm going to be answering another question today about the, the GED math. And the question is from Space and Guinea Pigs, which is an awesome username. And the question is, is the math test one of those show your work kind of tests? I've been thinking about taking it soon. I've been studying but don't really know what to expect. And for graphing, what I need to show my work. Do you need to use the correct formulas as well? Okay, so... When a lot of people uh, think about showing their work, they have bad memories from instantly triggered in their brain from high school or middle school when they had some teacher who hassled them and forced them to show their work. Um, this is this kind of test. It's nothing like that at all. All right. It's going to be all multiple choice questions. And then at the end of the sections, you'll have open ended questions. But you, it's all stuff that you're going to enter your answers in on the computer. So you're not no one's going to, to ju be judging you based on how you show your work, right? So you're going to get a dry erase board that you'll use, and you can write on it with a marker. So it's kind of like that's your scratch paper. So think of that as your scratch paper. Um, but really, it's totally up to you, okay? Like I said, you're not going to get any more points if you show your work. You're not going to be – no one's going to look at your work, all right? Um, but that being said, I do usually – I tell students to show their work, and, you know, up to you, but – if you show your work, you're going to want to show it for you, right? You're going to show it for you so that your score will be better. So I think that, you know, the more stuff that you try to keep inside of your brain, right, the more work you try to do in your head, the higher the chance is that you're going to confuse yourself or you're going to trip yourself up. By writing it down on the dry erase board, okay, at least, you know, some of your some of your steps so that you can kind of get it all out of your head, all right? You're getting it all out of your head, and I think it's going to really help with your score, Okay, you know, people say, well, will not it take a little bit longer if I write out my thought process and write out my steps? It might take you a little bit longer, but not that much longer. And if it helps you get the answers right, okay, and you still finish within the time frame, who cares, right? Does it really matter? I mean, I see people mess themselves up, students that I've worked with in person and through online, they mess themselves up more often than not by trying to keep too much in their head, right? So I've never seen anybody... I've never seen anybody fail the test because they it took them too long to write everything out by hand. Okay, So you don't have to write everything out by hand, but if you're solving a question, like you're trying to add something, divide something, um, you know, definitely get it out of your head. Just write your steps down so that you can follow your own thought process because, you know, the GED, it's, it's tricky. The math section's hard, right? I always tell people, why make it any harder than it has to be? So up to you how you want to do it, of course. Um, but if you show your work, you know, at this point, you're showing your work for you. It's not for some teacher. It's not for some judge. It's not for somebody to, it's not for the people at the test taking place. It's for you. So if you think it's going to help your score, and in most, every case that I've seen, you know, where someone's written out their steps on the test, it's helped their score. So up to you to make the decision, but I strongly recommend showing your work for you um, on most of the questions. And your other question was about uh, formulas. So no, you don't have to memorize any formulas. They're all going to be given to you as you practice and get more repetitions. Uh, you'll start to, you'll probably find that you're starting to memorize some of the big ones just from doing a lot of practice problems. So you're definitely going to want to be familiar with how to use the formulas, and you'll get that just from practice, your practice tests, your prep books, your uh, YouTube videos, or however you're doing it if you're working with a tutor. You'll get that as it goes, but you don't have to worry about memorizing any kind of formulas. You just have to know how to do them. So in summary, you don't have to show your work, okay? It's not going to affect your score whether or not you show your work, but in most cases, it's going to improve your score indirectly because it'll help you get more questions right, okay? I've never seen anybody run out of time on the test because they wrote out their thought processes to help them figure out where they are on the problems. So um, up to you, but best of luck. Hope that answers your questions. This is Parker from Test Prep Champions.